welcome back to my channel. So today I have been running around doing lots of errands and trying to clean up our house. And lately I have been seeing many different pictures and little videos of people stripping their towels and their clothes like in their bathtubs. I'm sure you've seen it too. Um, it's been pretty viral. Um, I've seen it pass around on Facebook quite a bit and I hear there's TikTok videos of it, but I'm not on TikTok, so I haven't seen those. But it's really, really intriguing and quite disgusting too, to be honest. But I wanted to do my towels to see if mine are as disgusting as everybody else's was. So today I think I'm going to do that. I am going to take my towels, um, towels that I literally just washed right out of my dryer and I am going to go put them in the bathtub and strip them and see, um, see how disgusting my towels are. So I invite you along to come and look too. Okay, so I am in the bathroom now. I'm going to fill up the tub with warm water and then I'm going to put in OxyClean. And I'm only using OxyClean for my stripping here. Uh, I've heard that people use uh, borax and baking soda and a detergent. Uh, but something my husband mentioned was, um, I wonder if there's like a, some sort of chemical reaction that happens that makes the water turn like brown or an off color. Uh, so I'm literally just going to use OxyClean and see what happens with that. Um, I don't know. I've seen other people uh, do theirs and they say there was no such thing as a chemical reaction or anything because they mixed it before they put the towels in. So I don't know but I'm just going to do OxyClean. I'm going to mix it in the water first before I put the towels in. I wanted to show you the water because I wanted to make sure that it was nice and clear in the video for you. Uh, I also wanted to show you the OxyClean that I had on hand, I just that's already what I already had, and I mixed in one whole cup of uh, using the measurement cup they had in the box. I mixed it into our water uh, well and then started putting in the towels. I definitely recommend getting something to stir in your mixture and your towels. Uh, I use the spoon there that you see. Uh, I've seen other people use different things. Even one lady used the end of her broomstick. So uh, definitely just grab something beforehand and then that'll make mixing everything up a lot easier. And then just add in your towels one by one and then for me, once they were all in, I mixed them up again using my spoon so that everything was fully saturated and all underneath the water uh, 100%. As I'm mixing everything in, I'm thinking it would probably be a good idea to probably do this every six months or so just to give everything a little extra clean, uh, making sure that your clothing and towels are extra clean, so something I might work in. I am showing you here what the water looks like after um, about a little over two hours, and you can definitely tell the water is definitely getting brown. Oh my goodness, so this is our water after I pulled out all of the towels. Oh, that's just so gross, so disgusting. Uh, you can even see little bits of dirt and lint and hair in there. It's just, oh, it's just really, really gross. Even though this is super embarrassing, I wanted to show you a close up of what was in the bottom of the tub after I drained out the water. Okay, so it's the next day and I just took my nice clean uh, towels out of the dryer 
and they really do smell better. Um, so that is really, really nice. And I just could not believe, you know, what came out of them before, even though they were supposed to be clean. So crazy. But so I started this project kind of late. And so like I started yesterday about 5.15 or so. And when my husband came home, he saw what I was doing and he was like, thought I was the most crazy person ever. He's like, I don't understand why you're doing this. Like you just wash the towels, like, come on. But after seeing all that, I think he understood like, oh, well maybe there was a purpose, but I don't know. He probably still thinks I'm crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but so last night I put them in about 515. I checked on them every couple of hours or so and to kind of like see the progression. And then last night about 930, so it was about a little over four hours that I let them sit in there and soak. And I know some people let it do long, like go longer and stuff, but I was just so tired that I just wanted to get it done and go to bed. So I took them out and I um, was squeezed out all of the water in the tub and then I put it in a laundry basket. Highly suggest that you bring a laundry basket in the bathroom with you if you're doing this uh, because one, you need a way to carry the towels from your bathroom to your laundry room and they uh, were still like really wet because I wasn't very good at wringing them out. So uh, I put them in the laundry basket and then even in the laundry basket there was still a good portion of water when I was pulling them out and putting them back in the washer machine again. So highly suggest that you do that and be careful when you're carrying it because you don't want to spill it like all over your house because that's kind of gross. So I took them out, put them in the laundry basket, brought them to the laundry room, and then I put them back in the washing machine. Uh, I put hot water and our regular detergent, which I use a free and clear detergent, and um, put that in and ran that before I went to bed, and then when I woke up this morning, so it was about 7.15 or so, I took them out of the laundry or out of the washer and then I put them into the dryer and I put it on like a high heat so then it, they would dry. And um, they, I mean, they smell really nice. So I'm super excited about that um, and know that they are at least a little bit cleaner than what they were. Um, so I don't know if I am thankful that our water wasn't as gross as what I've seen others um, were. Like, uh, ours was like, okay, like, yeah, they were dirty. And yeah, there were, uh, like, there was dirt and hair and all that other stuff in there too, uh, which was really gross uh, with supposed clean towels. Uh, but I mean, I'm thankful that it wasn't like so overly disgusting uh, like some of them I've seen I've seen like some black water and you know I don't know if that's because a I didn't leave it in long enough or I know some people soaked them like overnight and I didn't do that and then um, maybe I didn't do it uh, like obviously I didn't do it long enough or maybe I didn't have enough towels in there so I only put eight towels in our solution so Maybe that had something to do with it too. I don't know, but it, it's all just kind of gross. <laughs> uh, I also don't use fabric softeners. I also don't use dryer sheets, so that might have something to do with it too. Uh, I know that dryer sheets really aren't that great for your clothing because they put a film on your clothes and then that film builds up on your clothing, which allows like stink to stay in your clothes and dirt and maybe stuff that you know should be getting washed out isn't because it's kind of stuck in there with the film on it I don't know but I have been using dryer balls for quite some time uh, that I have like a love-hate relationship with them because one they can get lost easily so I often find dryer balls like underneath my couch and stuff and sometimes the dog thinks it's a, a ball 
uh, and the kids like to play with them, uh, but they are nice. You do have to use like a lot of them, I feel like, to get rid of the like static cling. So I use usually would use at least like six balls in each load. And I know a lot of people like the fabric sheets uh, because it helps like make their laundry smell better. Uh, but on the dryer balls, you can like put essential oils on them if you have the fabric ones. And you can put essential oils on them and then that helps your laundry smell good too in a little more of like a natural way. So I hope that you are not like overly disgusted from um, my towels, uh, but they are nice and clean now. And I just thank you for watching this video. And if you would like, uh, I post videos and on my, on my YouTube channel and on my blog, uh, passion in the purpose so you can see that at passion in the uh, you can see videos here on YouTube and I just invite you to join me sometimes I share about learning at home and education also share a little bit about like our life uh, pregnancy loss awareness and some of our fun traveling that we like to do so I invite you to join me and I will see you next time